So welcome back to the most magical forest that we have in the Netherlands. Uh, this is called the Spulderbos. And uh, I've been here a couple of weeks ago, just before I went to, to Denmark. And yeah, uh, we didn't have the right circumstances. And uh, you actually need a couple of things for this forest. First, you need autumn colors. Well, those are here. There's absolutely every leaf is turned yellow or orange. So it's definitely the right time. Uh, we need the right temperature and usually when it is below two or three degrees that's okay and right now it's minus four so that's why I've got the gloves on and the, the warm uh, winter jacket and yeah, I just got out of my car and I stoked up the heater uh, pretty much so when you get out to minus four it's uh, pretty uh, pretty hard but uh, I think we have that but there's one crucial uh, thing missing and that's light and uh, they actually predicted that uh, it's an overcast uh, at the moment but around half an hour behind uh, sunrise those clouds are supposed to move and there will be some clear skies so i'm hoping for that to happen but to be honest i uh, i have my doubts about that i definitely have my doubts so there might be one extra crucial ingredient and that is a big amount of luck. Well, that little bit of luck might be uh, floating in right now. If I'm looking up there, I can see some uh, patches of blue sky. Some clouds are being lighted, lit up by the sun right now. So uh, that could mean that those, those clear skies are coming and uh, that would massively help this day so uh, yeah let's hope uh, let's hope that's gonna happen so I just found this extremely tiny mushroom here and what I really like about it is this contrast between those shapes of this green grass I have no idea what it is it's some sort of moss and then this little mushroom so the light and the clouds is over that side so when I'm turning the camera all the way up a bit like this I can actually position that tiny mushroom in one of those light bouquets and I think that would be a really awesome shot so I have to keep the the background a little bit blurry so I'm, uh, I'm keeping it at f3.2 I think I want the, the head of this mushroom to be sharp but this could be a really nice image So I just found this S-curved path here, which uh, yeah, runs into the back and it's all dark around it. So it's very easy to, uh, to cut off anything uh, overexposed by the sky. So I'm just focusing on this lower part and there's some beautiful ferns here on the left with some yeah, yellow green colors, some orange and yellow colored trees in the background there. So uh, yeah, there's definitely a nice shot in here. So I'm uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to uh, to frame one up, and uh, if it works out, this is the shot.
So I finally found a composition that I'm really happy with, but my uh, battery of my, uh, my camera just died on me. So I've got it on the power bank, so it usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes before it's charged enough to start it up again. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I just didn't want to wait here, so I'm filming this on my phone actually. So if the sound quality is uh, pretty bad, then I'm sorry for that. But uh, I just found a really nice composition and this is actually why I love this forest. So if you look behind me, just gonna try to show you on this camera, it's quite difficult. But you can see there's a nicely shaped tree over here and another one is over here. And they are both yeah, uh, pointing in opposite directions and behind it is a forest full of weirdly shaped trees that's just really awesome. So I'm just trying to frame up these two trees with all these trees disappearing in the background with no sky in the shot. And every now and then the sun just pops over those clouds there, or clouds over those leaves and trees and just creating some patches of light in this scene. And it's just uh, amazing. So hopefully this shot will work and hopefully filming this on my phone works so uh, <laughs> i hope i can suit it into my uh, yeah into my video but uh yeah sorry for the bad uh, sound quality in this clip and sorry i'm i have to look over here it's actually pretty stupid because you see yourself here and but you have to look there so sorry for not looking in the camera and <laughs> sorry for using this phone but uh, hopefully uh, at least the shot will turn out fine So I'm really happy that <laughs> this camera is still working here. You know, I just uh, recorded that piece on my phone of uh, these beautiful shaped trees and uh, I actually walked a lot further <laughs> into the woods here. Uh, took a couple of amazing shots, but my phone also died. It's only on two or three percent, so I couldn't film on my phone. But it's about half an hour later than when I recorded this piece on my phone, but I just couldn't get my Osmo back on back running again so I really thought this thing was broken but uh, <laughs> I think it has to be charged until 20% before it uh, turns on again but uh, in these cold uh, temperatures it takes a lot longer before these batteries are uh, charged so yeah <laughs> I'm just really happy that this thing is working so uh, I'm gonna charge this for a little bit and then put uh, the power stick onto my phone and uh, yeah hopefully we can continue this <laughs> this video for a while but I actually took a couple of nice images I've got the, I actually took put the polarizer on uh, because yeah I, I really like these these polarized colors in this forest and yeah back uh, uh, about 15 minutes ago I took some amazing ones so I'll show you those uh, right now
So I'm actually uh, struggling a bit to find the right uh, yeah, uh, sort of trees that I'm looking for. And uh, yeah, my phone died because the battery is empty. It's actually charging now with my uh, power bank. But uh, I can't uh, look on the maps <laughs> where I am at the moment. So there are no signs in this forest. So I actually have no idea where I am. So I'm just uh, walking around here hoping to find a sign and hopefully uh, <laughs> my, my phone will be charged uh, soon and uh, I can uh, start it up again and look on the maps but for now uh, it's proving to be uh, pretty difficult. So I finally found a nice shot over here so I hope uh, <laughs> you can see this but I will show you on this camera in a minute. Uh, yeah, there are a couple of trees here beautifully light up of lit up and the sun is just shining through it from the top right corner and creating a really nice glow and atmosphere yeah floating into this image so I'll try to show you on this camera what I'm trying to frame up so this is the shot that I'm actually looking at and yeah the most important in a shot like this is if you move a couple of meters to this side you can see over here there are some trees appearing and I don't really like that so I'm just trying to frame up hiding all these yeah, different trees behind the other trees and you can see this light coming from up here floating into this image and you've got this lit up bush over here and on the top there so yeah a really nice shot some patches of light on the ground so uh, yeah this is actually the kind of shot that I'm uh, I was looking for so uh, yeah I'm framing it up right now perfectly and yeah I think uh, an amazing shot yeah so that's it just keeping an eye on the histogram not overexposing anything not uh, having things that are too dark using the polarizer just to pop these colors and then, uh, yeah, just some beautiful light. So really happy uh, with this shot. So I hope you can, uh, you can see this uh, behind me. It's really bright, so I'm afraid you can't see it, but there's one tree here, and the sun is right behind it. And because of that, the, the sides of this tree it are just uh, yeah, lit up. It's really nice. So you can see this, this colored line on the side of the tree. So I'm trying to frame it up somehow uh, <laughs> with, with this beautiful light behind it, but it's actually pretty difficult. It's about uh, noon right now, and. Uh, that's, uh, the light is getting a bit hard, but with the polarizer I can still manage to get these colors out that I uh, really like. So uh, yeah, I'm just trying to frame up the shot. Hopefully I can find something uh, nice. And, uh, yeah, really, uh, really happy with this one. So it never got as magical as it can be here today, but still I, uh, I think I managed to take a couple of nice uh, images. So hopefully uh, <laughs> those, those will work out. So this is the end of uh, today's video, uh, yeah, thank you all for uh, watching, like I said earlier the light never got as good as it can be here but still uh, yeah, I managed to get some, some nice images here, at least I hope so, but 
yeah, really struggling with the power of the, the video camera and my phone and uh, yeah, all of that in mind, I still managed to get some, uh, some nice images, I think. So uh, yeah, hope you liked it. I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, hope to see you on uh, next week's video. And if you like the video, then don't forget to push the thumbs up button. And there's a subscribe button underneath this video. If you push it, select all. And uh, you will uh, get a message when I release uh, my next video. So uh, hope to see you next week. Bye for now.